Daniel 9, 26. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people, the prince that shall come, shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. And the end thereof shall be with a flood, until the end of the war of desolations are determined. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. In the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to cease. And for the overspring of the abominations he shall make it desolate, even unto the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. It's mighty much in two verses. And the first of all, the cutoff. The Messiah shall be cut off. That's the crucifixion. That's the death of Jesus Christ. The Messiah, as we talked about last night, is Jesus Christ, the anointed one. So in Daniel 9, we're looking at Calvary. And again, I've got to ask yourself, why doesn't my church teach this stuff? Verses 9, I mean, verses 26 and 27 deal with the tribulation. Everybody's all hot about the tribulation. Everybody's all hot about the book of Revelation. And yet Daniel's not talked about. We're going to see in a moment, by the close of this study, forgive me with my allergies, we're going to see a very important person is going to talk about what we're talking about right now. You go back to last night's video, last night's audio, I told you why. Now, the Bible, the Bible says not cut off for himself. Well, look at Isaiah. Well, this is one problem. Churches don't go in, in the scripture. They want to hurry up and get a chapter done so they can mark it off, Isaiah 53. We finished the chapter. We finished the book. We didn't learn nothing. I'm glad they don't teach doctors like this. You know, Mr. Hayward, uh, you're here for your heart, and you got certain heart issues, and I'm a doctor. I want to let you know the, 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 the book that we had on the heart and all that. I'll tell you right now, Mr. Hayward, as my patient, we finished that whole book in 30 days. Mr. Hayward, where are you going? Bye. I want a doctor has a lot more than 30 days of a whole book for the heart. And yet you still give to your pastor who doesn't teach you nothing. Yeah. You wait to the judgment seat of Christ. So Isaiah 53 verse 8 says he was taken from prison and from judgment. Who shall, decree, who shall declare his generation? He was cut off. This is the great Messiah, Jesus Christ. Isaiah 53. He was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people for me. He was stricken. And you read the rest of chapter 53. Which there are times in street ministries I will quote this chapter. He wasn't cut off for himself. He was cut off for me. He was cut off for the, for the Jews and their sins. And another verse we're not going to look at is John 11, 49 to 51. We would have you to, to read some scripture. But I know many of you will not. So going back to Daniel... We find it says, the Messiah shall be cut off, that's Calvary, but not for himself, for our sin. And the people, the prince, shall come and destroy the city and the sanctuary. Okay, that's 70 AD. That's when Rome and Titus came and destroyed the temple in Jerusalem. Notice the temple is called sanctuary. The city is Jerusalem. But we have a problem. That's true. But we have a problem when it goes about and says, The end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. That did not happen in 70 AD. 
You can have a part of a scripture. You can have part of a verse. There are many places a verse will have the first advent, comma, period, semicolon, colon, and then the second advent. It's like the places in the scripture I told you. Where the, woman, the, the Bible says she conceived. And the very, very next verse, she gives birth. Uh, no, 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 no. I think some women would love to have that to happen. But there's usually about, about approximately nine months of a verse, of a period, of a colon, semicolon, whatever the mark is. So what we have is we have the, the, the well, I don't want to say the first that You have after the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus and ascension to heaven, at 70 AD, you have the destruction. And the, the flood and the war of desolations, Revelation 12. And this is a book that everybody loves, Revelation. Well, Daniel goes hand in hand, Revelation 12, 15. Scripture with Scripture, and if you've got a Bible with changes, edits, adds, subtracts, footnotes, you got a word of, word of Satan, not the Word of God. Now watch this. Now this is unbelieved by many pastors. This would be a pastor who doesn't believe in this stuff. But think I'm a moron. Look, well, look what I said, verse 15. Ready? The serpent. The serpent. Well, this chapter will tell you that the serpent is the devil. Cast out of his mouth water as a flood. Scripture. Don't mess. Don't mess with one word of, of the King James Bible. Because I don't. I, I'm not saying they did. I, I, I just. I don't bother. Sometimes I don't look it up. Sometimes I do. But if it has been changed, well, then you just lost the cross between Daniel and I. As a flood after the woman, and the woman, verses 1 and 2, is Israel, according to Joseph's dream. Don't mess with the words. That it might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Got that? Verse 16, and the earth helped the woman, the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Now there are other references to that. Don't mess with a word or words. So what we have is Isaiah 5, 9. It's all over. The Bible says study. It, there's no index. And talking about the destruction in Jerusalem, in my ears, said the Lord of hosts, of a true, many houses shall be desolate. 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 6.11. Isaiah 6.11. Then said I, Lord, how long? He answered, to the cities be wasted without inhabitant. No one living. And houses without man. And the land be utterly desolate. 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 Don't change the word of the Bible. Because Satan would not want you to get the cross reference. Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13. Verse 9. Behold the day the Lord cometh. And I forget which prophet it says. The day of the Lord is the second advent. The day of clouds. Cruel. Both wrath, God's wrath, second half of it, and fierce anger to lay the land desolate. Oh, excuse me, my allergy. And destroy the sinners thereof of it. Now, if you want to see the complete desolation, read Isaiah 24, verses 1 to 11, and Jeremiah 4, 23 to 29. Now, back to Daniel 9. You can't do this in one Sunday school class. If you if, if it's done, it's you're getting short change. You need to take back some of your tithe to your church. Because they're not worthy. You tell your pastor I said that too. If he's not teaching you, 
9, 25, and 26, we had the Messiah, the Prince. And we talked about the Prince last night. But we got a problem. Look at verse 26. 25, Messiah, the Prince, uh, uh, Daniel 9, 26. The people of the Prince. He knows the difference. Messiah, the capital P Prince, the people of the small P Prince. There's two princes. <coughs> Isn't it? The second prince is the profane, wicked prince of Israel. Ezekiel 21, 25. Okay? He's the incarnation of the prince of this world, Satan. John 12, 31, 14, 30, 16, 11, and 2 Corinthians 4, 4. The Messiah, the Prince in 25, is the Lord Jesus Christ. Ready? Ready? Everyone's ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get your church going. Daniel 9, 26, that Prince is the Antichrist. 9, 25 takes us to the first advent to Calvary. 9, 26, and 27 takes us to the tribulation period. Ooh, we're going to take the mark. We're going to take the mark. Ooh, look at all the signs. Ooh, look at the things. There's earthquakes. There's fires. There's more Russia. And we're in the end times. We're in... Well, we'll get to that. Calm down. Just because your church doesn't teach you anything, I will. I will. Okay? So... Now, look what it says also. Like I said, I'm, I'm itching, scratching my nose. I apologize. It says, 926, after three score and two weeks, 62 weeks, shall the Messiah be cut off. So, the 62 weeks happens after the Messiah is crucified. And yet, it gives us no direct time Given, go back to last week, last night's message. Okay? We went through all that. That's, you don't have time to do it. You go back and you look at and redo yesterday's message. Now, verse 27. Shall confirm the covenant. That's the Antichrist. With many. Not all. Many. There'll be many, not all, in the tribulation period. It's confirmed by the Antichrist. It, it, is, it does not ever say it's made or make by the Antichrist. And what is that covenant? It has to do with the land of Israel, not the land of Palestine. Come on, Baptists, don't call it the land of Palestine. The Bible calls it the land of Israel. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the 12 tribes. How can you call God's land Palestine when Palestine was an enemy of Israel? You know, Goliath, that wasn't killed by David in the modern Bibles. But my Bible says David killed him. Jonathan said to his father, David killed Goliath. Your modern Bibles don't say that. It's not the land of Palestine. It's the land of Israel. Get your words right. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got another Bible. You got other words. I mean, after all, King Saul went up to the sun. You SOB. Living Bible. Well, Philip, what hinders me to be baptized? Oh, let's throw him in the water and baptize. What happened to the bully? These are modern Bibles. These are these ruin the Bible. Okay, move on. So it's the land of Israel, this covenant. It has to do with that land. And the Antichrist is going to be out to get the Jews and kill them. Now we have in hold the tribulation period. Now you see, in the midst of the week, he shall confirm many for one week in the midst of the week. Now, remember we talked about the other night. That's not seven days. We gave you the Bible references. As they searched the land of Cana 40 days, they had to spend 40 years in the wilderness. Go back. 
Now, because your pastor and your Sunday school teacher don't know crap, don't you be ignorant. Why don't you call your, your, your church officials on what they don't know? Why don't you walk in your office and say, how come this guy knows so much and you don't teach us nothing? I, I was in the church here in Florida, down south, every Sunday, and the pastor told me, every Sunday, well, we have a salvation message for those who come to church and are not saved. Church is not for the unsaved. It is for the sheep. You're supposed to be feeding them sheep food, not goat food. And some people don't even know what the reference I just gave. Jesus said, didn't, Jesus did not say, bring them in, bring them in, bring them in from the fields of sin. He said, go in all world and preach the gospel. Your church has a, all are welcome here. That is Blasphemy. That is abomination. Nowhere do you find Paul, James, Peter, John, Philip. Come to church. Will you come to church Sunday? You know why they want you in church? They want your money and they want your head count. And for saying that statement there, many Baptists want my head off like John the Baptist. Because John the Baptist spoke the truth. Have I become your enemy? Because I've told you the truth. I, I, I was uh, today. I, I made a thing today about that. I was thinking that maybe that should be my new life verse. But Jesus Christ is my blessed hope. Titus two thirteen. I got two now. All right, move on. Sorry. So there's seven years, one week, seven days, goes in seven years. We we talked about this last time. Three and a half years of tribulation. And then there's three and a half, the last three and a half years is great tribulation. The Jeremiah chapter 30 calls this period Jacob's trouble. It is never called the church. Now, Daniel chapter 9, we have eliminated. This ain't church doctrine. This is Hebrew, Jewish, Israel, Judah doctrine of the Messiah came for Israel, didn't come for the Gentiles. We talked about that. We looked at that. Well, now let, let's get this straight before we move on to our next subject. We're talking about a period of time for Israel, for the Jewish people, a seven-year period called Jacob's Trouble, tribulation, and three and a half years of great tribulation. We're talking about the Antichrist. You know, if you're a Christian, you're worried about the Antichrist. You haven't been taught nothing by your church because we're not here when the Antichrist is here. And woe be if you are in a church that they teach you that you will go through the, the tribulation. You need to get out of that church. Never go back to that church. Get yourself in a King James premillennial church. We talked about that the other night. Get the videos. Listen to them. Only those that really want to learn, only those who really want to do by God are going to do what I'm telling you to do. Other... Uh, Guys, it's a moron, doesn't know anything. Yeah, okay. You 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 will hold those words at the judgment seat of Christ. If you're a pastor, you listen to this, you're angry what I say, judgment seat of Christ, Jesus is gonna say, Hey, he was right. You were wrong. All right, let's move out of the church aid. We're back in the Jewish, we're no church yet. The church doesn't even really come after the Messiah is cut off until later in the book of Acts. So, Matthew, Matthew's gospel is to the Jew, not church. It's the genealogy of a king named Jesus through David, Jewish. You know, there's only one place, one or two places the Bible says Jesus is the king reference to the church king of kings well some of us are going to be kings i don't know if i'm going to be worthy enough so here we go matthew 24 in scope of what we've been reading and studying and jesus went out and departed from the temple it's not 70 a.d yet that temple is in jerusalem 
Jewish people with his disciples came to him to show him the build the buildings of the temple. He, a Baptist do that. Even I, we we came into Florida three o'clock in the morning. You want to go see our church? We had to go see the church building, or ch actually church storefront. Ooh, wow. Never seen a storefront before. Can I go to my hotel and go to bed now? And Jesus said to him, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto thee, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down 70 A.D. As he sat in the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately. So it's only the disciples. Tell us what think what these things shall be, and what shall be the sign of the coming and the end of the world. Friend, whatever happens in the church age, it's not the end of the world because you have a rapture coming, and then you have seven years of tribulation. Then you have the second advent, Lord Jesus Christ. Then you got the millennial reign of, of Jesus. Then you got the devil is loosed for a bit. It's not the end of the world. You think it's all about the church? What did Paul write? Was it thirteen books? I think it is thirteen out of sixty-six books. You even think the book of Hebrews is to the church. And Jesus answers to them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Okay, we, we can do that as Christians, but for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, capital C. Well, didn't we talk about Christ the other night? There's going to be one particular going to stand up and say, I am the Messiah. Then we just read, and not. Daniel 9, 25, 26, we have two men called the prince. That Antichrist is going to be a carbon copy of Jesus. You're not going to be able to tell them apart unless you got a Bible. And shall deceive many. Do you recognize that word? Don't mess with the word or words in the Bible. That many goes right back to Daniel 9. We'll, we'll show you in a moment. Hold on. We'll show you this is not church age doctrine. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. Oh, Russia's attacking, and, 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 and uh, oh, my, uh, what am I going to do? Oh, we're going to have to receive the mark and gasoline's up to eight bucks a gallon. Oh, uh, go take your blue pill and shut up. See that ye be not troubled. Now, notice that word trouble? Do you see that word trouble? Jeremiah. Who is a Levite said in 30 verse 7 Jacob's trouble do you do you see the, do you see the connection don't mess with the word don't mess with the words for all these things must come to pass but the end you remember when we started Daniel remember two words I said when they first came up I said you pay attention underline or, or highlight whatever you do remember they were called the end well, the end is never a reference to the church age. It's not yet. What's, well, what do you mean the end's not yet? Well, you got three and a half years of tribulation. You got three and a half years of great tribulation. You got the second advent. And you got the thousand years. <laughs> For nation shall rise against nation. You know, Russia and... Listen, the, the North and the South rose up against each other in America. America rose up against Great Britain. The Lord didn't come. And listen, even the Jehovah Witness, oh, the Lord's coming, World War I, blew it. Oh, the Lord's coming, World War II, blew it. <laughs> They're taking Scripture out of context. And kingdom against kingdom, there shall be famines. Well, there's famines today. There's always been famines. I talked to a, an Ethiopian uh, 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 missionary. He told me one time, he said, he said, they have to go walking for days to go hear a Bible preach. Days. Walking. He says, on the way there, they would stop, they would find grass, 
They would sit and they would eat the grass because that's the only food they got. And you're worried about eight down eight dollars gallon of gas. Those Ethiopian units, I mean, those Ethiopian units, those Ethiopians are going to get more praise in God in heaven than you. Eh, eh, I didn't get Donald Trump. <laughs> Pestilences, they've been years. Earthquake, you know, there's earthquakes over there. There's been earthquakes everywhere. In diverse places. Have you not read the book of Revelations of famines? The four horses of apocalypse, the pestilence, the, the bowls, the seals, and the the earthquakes, that's the book of Revelation, my friend. After Revelation 4, we're not mentioned <laughs> until we come back, Revelation 19. Got it? Got it? Hey, hey, hey tell your pastor, he, why don't we know these things? And all these shall be the beginnings of sorrow. What's that mean? <clears throat> they shall deliver you up to be afflicted. Hey, look at this Hebrew we got. He's a Jew. They put a price on the Jewish head. You bring us a Jew, you kill a Jew, you bring him a There's a price on his head. Ask Mordecai. Ask Esther. Ask Amos. Ask Adolf Hitler. And they shall kill you. And I heard the voice of those that were under the throne of God. And they, they were beheaded for the word of, word of God. And you shall be hated of all nations. For my name's sake. Every nation has done some kind of ill to the Hebrew people. But when the Antichrist comes in power, whew. and then shall many be offended. <laughs> God don't care about Americans who are spineless jellyfish. Okay? We're talking about the world is going to be offended. The Jews are going to be offended. You curse that Jew, God's going to curse you. And betray one another. Uh, what am I reading right now? Uh, one of the prophets. He says, listen, the, the, the enemies of, your, of you will be the, those of your own house. The sister-in-law shall be against the mother. The son-in-law will be against the father. And shall hate one another. Many false prophets. You know what they called them in the Old Testament? False prophets. You know what they're called now? False teachers. Shall rise and deceive many. But look at it. Everybody's being deceived. And because iniquity shall abound, the sin, the wickedness, the love of many shall wax cold. Now that matches the church age. But now here we go. Ready? He that it shall endure to the end, shame shall be saved. That is never the church age. My salvation rests upon the finished work of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus and the sign and sealing and adoption of the Holy Spirit of God through Jesus Christ. That's a work salvation. If you make it down to settled preacher, wherever that city place is, if you escape the Antichrist, you don't receive the mark. You stay, it's going to be very hard because all the world's going to be against you. And it's not talking about Gentiles. The only means for a Gentile to be saved in the tribulation is their conduct to the Jew. Again, if you bless the Jew, I will bless you. See, I just don't mess with a word. Don't mess with the words. Okay? And this gospel, this gospel, is Jesus dead? Look at verse 1. Is Jesus dead? Then this is not the gospel of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus that Paul preached. Of the kingdom. Is the church concerned about the kingdom? No, it's not. Who's concerned about a kingdom? Who's concerned about a piece of land? The Jews. Shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations. Now how is that happening? The 144,000 that's not the Jehovah Witnesses. And against, for the, for the witness of all the nations. 
majority of nations are against the Jews, except for those that help them. These 144,000 are going around like, those are God's people. And then shall be, then shall the end come. Okay. Now we're coming to the end. Ready? 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 Hold on to your belt. Put your seat belts on. Put your chair firmly in the locked position. And do not get up till the plane has landed. Ready? Are you ready? You think I'm foolish, don't you? Here we go. And when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, chapter 9, 26 and 27. At this point in Matthew 24, 15, three and a half years is gone. We are now in the last half. The three and a half, we are in the great tribulation. The Antichrist, they'll go to the temple. The temple will be there. The, the veil will be opened up. I am God. And those Jews are going to say, I am in trouble. Because when Gabriel showed up in the holy place, John the Baptist's father was scared pants. Well, who are you and what are you doing here? Never mind the most holy place. Stand in the holy place. Holy place. That's where Gabriel and John the Baptist fought. And John the Baptist fought. He was scared. That's where King, I think it's Asa, went in there to offer the, the, the incident. Not Asa, it was another king. And he got leprosy. He didn't walk in the holy place. The Antichrist will be there. I'm the Messiah. Now, Style, you, you, you've you been ranking on my church and my pastor. Okay, ready? Ready? How many times did they run to Matthew? Ready? Whosoever read it, let him understand. All right. Does your church go to Matthew? Do you understand what we just said? If you don't, then there's trouble. Because a Christian can know what's going on. No, see, you as a Gentile, you as a Christian run to Matthew 24 and see there was an earthquake in India. Jesus is coming. Well, he's coming, but he ain't coming because of the earthquake in, in India. Now, the end will come as the earthquakes happen in Revelation, but not for the church. Ready? Ready? Read, let's read on. Read on. Read on. Read on. You see, belt on? Okay, we're on oil. We're on oil pilot right now. Because many of you Christians think, I am the pilot, and Jesus is my co-pilot. You are in the wrong seat. Put an oil pilot, say, Jesus, take the controls. I'm going to sit over here, and, okay? Them, let them, which be in, gee, I'm wondering where that is. Judea is Israel. Flee to the mouth. So when, when we're talking about Daniel 9, 26, remember, remember Daniel 9, 26, 27, desolation, desolate, remember that? That's what Jesus is talking about right now. He said, when that happened, run. Run. Now maybe these famines and earthquakes, maybe they're working their way up, not to the rapture, working their way up to the tribulation. Let him that let him which is on the housetop come not down. <clears throat> excuse me, housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Just run, don't pack a bag. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. I mean, you're out in the field and, and you find out the antichrist is in the temple. Run. Don't worry about your material thing. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. All right, here's a woman, she's pregnant. Here's a woman, she's got a babe, babe on, her, on her breast. Why? 
According to Revelation, there's a time period coming that the currency is going to be the 666. My, my baby's not doing well. My baby's sick. In the emergency room. Where's your mark? I don't have the mark. No mark, no service. But, but, but my baby, my baby. No mark, no service. Oh, by the way, you a Hebrew? <laughs> That's an extra 10000 in my pocket. I'm about to give birth. I, I, I'm in delivery. My water broke. Where's your mark? I don't have a mark. Come on, man. No mark. No, sir. You're a Hebrew? Ooh, if I turn you in. That's your nurses. That's your doctors. That's your Medicare. <laughs> Medicare. That's your insurance in the tribulation period. But pray ye that your flight, airplanes, that matches Revelation where we worked it already. 12, the flight, to the one was given great great wings. Be not in the winter. Why? Airplanes, too cold to fly. Neither on the Sabbath day. The law's back. On the Sabbath on the Jewish law, in the tribulation period, you don't go nowhere on the Sabbath. If that Antichrist shows up on the Sabbath day, that airplane ain't flying. If it's icy cold weather and all that, that airplane ain't flying. The church is not under the Sabbath. And we have something called the ice or not. We can fly airplanes in the winter. Evidently, in the tribulation period, you can. Did you catch that? Let's keep reading. Buckle your seatbelts. Stewardships will be by if you want a Kohler or whatever you want. For then shall be great tribulation. Three and a half last year. Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. What's going to happen in the last three and a half years, no history has ever recorded Satan in the flesh proclaiming to be God after the people of God, the Jew. Brother, you have never seen what's going to happen. Let's read on. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. Oh, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Not in the tribulation period, my friend. But for the elect's sake, the Jews are the elect's sake. Those days shall be shortened. I don't understand what that means. I don't know everything. Maybe that's why in Daniel it's given as weeks, not as years. Because maybe it is going to be shortened. God can do that, you know. And you also didn't we also read a place where 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 the Antichrist is going to change times, or we will come up to that. I don't know if we've done that already. Uh, I'm just looking right here. I don't know if we've done that or we're going to do that. All right, here it is. Let me read Daniel 7, 25. And he, the Antichrist, shall speak great words against the Most High God and shall wear out the saints, that's the Jews, of the Most High, and think to change times in law. There's your cross-reference. Don't mess with word. Don't mess with words. You've ruined the cross-reference. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, the wrong one, or there believe it not. For there shall ro rise false Christ, not false prophets, false Christ and false prophets. Who's the false prophet? That's the other beast. It's plural. It's plural. You know it's going to be running around in the tribulation? The Antichrist is going to be running around and the false prophet. Could be Judas. John tells us in first, uh, is it first John or second John? 
that there are antichrist plural running around. Man, you got the antichrist and antichrists, <laughs> and you got the false prophet and the false prophets all running around in the tribulation period trying to deceive everybody. You think the Baptist church is bad? You wait to the tri tribulation period. And shall show great signs and wonders. I just read that in Daniel 8. In so much that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. The Jews are going to be like, maybe that. No, no. Hey, man, we, no, come on. Listen to me. That is not the Messiah. You imagine Judas getting up and saying, listen, you guys would have believed me. Oh, you want proof? Watch me heal somebody. Judas had the astrocotic signs. Give me that dead baby over there. Watch this. Arise. See, look at the baby. That's exactly what Judas did when he was alive. You had the wrong one. You crucified the wrong guy. It was me. If it's Judas... In verse 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the, the three, last three and a half years, the sun shall be darkened, the moon shall, shall not give her light, the stars shall fall from it. Every place that shows up in the book of Revelation, that is the last seal, the last vial, the last trump. That's the end of the tribulation period. And then look, verse 30, here comes the Son of Man. That's the second advent. Don't you go run into Matthew 24 and say, well, this is a sign of the, of the rapture. This is a sign of the church age. Now, let me look up here real quick. Is this the one I want? First Timothy 4 1. Now this could be a sign, though Jews don't I mean Jews require a sign. But Gentiles seek after knowledge. If you want a sign for the rapture. Now the Spirit, capital S, speaks expressly. That in the latter times, okay, of the church age, right into a, a Christian, been an awful long time, shall depart from the faith. I heard just yesterday, if you had a hundred Christians, 80 of them that got saved are going to go right back out in the world. 20 of them are going to stay in it, and about 10 of those are going to be serious and die hard for Christ. We're in the church age today. You said this prayer, and you never, ever hear from, and you got to wonder, were they even saved? Giving heed to seducing spirits. Well, what could that be? You got the Christmas spirit? Deck the halls with bells of holly, la 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 la, lie to you. Decorate your eggs if you, la 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 la, lie to you. Gay apparel, people showing up. Here's a collection plate. One, two, three, four heads to show. You know, when I was in a, I was in a church. I, I, I don't want to say what because it's not the church. I don't want. I don't want to blame the. But I was in a church. There was a whole bunch of teenagers in this church, and Facebook had just come out. You know, most of those Christian teenagers that I was in back in Connecticut, I looked at their Facebook, and you can. They like the Harry Potter books. That, that just come out. They like the, the Harry Potter movies. And there was something, Brenda Goodwitch or something like that. Blair, something. That was on the Facebook of many Christian teenagers. That was many years ago. About the time my son was young. And Doctrine of Devils, what's that? Paganism. 
Esther is a devil. Do you know you cannot on Facebook, and it's been many times, you cannot say Esther is Easter. They will come up with that fact finders. When you check that fact finders, it's going to be a Protestant church or a Catholic church will tell you you're wrong. What? And I wrote back to them. I gave them the names and the books and the page numbers. I'm right. They, they don't want to do nothing about it. Doctor and the devil. We're going to have a happy birthday for Tame. I mean, Jesus. Well, you see, we don't call it Halloween. We call it trunk or treat. You know, there. when I tried to start a church in, in Connecticut, and I was looking at insurance companies and all that, I dealt, had to make a lot of phone calls. And one of the, I called one insurance company. I said, what's this thing about liquor? Well, that's part of your policy. In case you serve liquor, and, and it's, I'm not going to have liquor, sir. Well, that has to be in your policy. You know what they used to call liquor stores when I grew up as a child? They used to call it spirit shop. We're going to the spirit shop. That means you're going to go buy liquor. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. <laughs> you want the name of the pastors on that one? You want the names of the pastors who told me it's okay to celebrate uh, Easter and Christmas? Though I laid all the facts out? What about worldwide all the past Baptists? Never mind the cat. But, okay? What about all the lies that's coming out of the pulpits? Plural. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Well, you know, can I do this sin and still be saved? I'm going to do it anyway. We come to a place in America, <coughs> excuse me, the prisons are filled. So you commit a crime, no, don't worry about it. You may, they, they just may throw you back out in the street because there's no room for you. No consequences. Forbidding to marry. There's a Catholic church. The priests and the nuns cannot get married. But they can fornicate with the altar boys or each other. Did you know that? The Catholic Church, there it is, right there. Coming up to the rapture of the church, there's the Catholic Church. Commanding to abstain from meat. There's religions out there, you can't eat meat. Really? You can't eat meat but fish on Friday. So McDonald's flail of fish came out for the purpose we need to sell Food on Friday, we can't sell hamburgers because the Catholics don't eat hamburgers on Friday, so we came up with the flail fish. Which God has created to be received with thanksgiving. I can bow my head over in the church age, not in the tribulation, not under the law. I can bow my head, my head over a pork ribs and say, oh Lord God, thank you. Thank you for pork ribs. Thank you for sausage. Thank you for bacon. You're not going to be able to do that in the tribulation period. I don't know how many people talk. You can't eat that. It's okay. I know what I can eat. I know what I can't eat. That's <coughs> the signs, <coughs> signs of the rapture. But that's been played out all through the church age. There are no signs for the rapture. Rapture could happen anytime, every moment. But when you go run to Matthew, you're in great error. When, now, how hard was it to explain Daniel 25 and 26? With scripture, with scripture. Was it hard? Did you get some understanding? Or did your modern Bible easy reading? Did you lose the cross references? You better get the unabridged 
Bible, the King James 1611 Bible, complete, accurate, and full to detail. Don't get a Reader's Digest Bible. You, you get half the story. You know? And what is being taught by me right now is not taught in the churches. I, I, I already told you. The pastor doesn't know. He doesn't care. He goes to church congregation, don't care, and don't want to know. We want to be happy-go-lucky. And at the judgment seat of Christ, you will suffer. 